from Hebrews 5. This is Jesus who, in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with vehement cries and tears to him, who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his godly fear, though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. And having been perfected, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Now, this is both a sobering and a glorious passage. Sobering because we are told that Jesus was, in fact, heard by the Father. We know that Jesus prayed with such earnestness that sweat dropped like blood from his brow. With cries and tears, we know that he asked three times that the cup of his death might be removed. He asked if there be any other way to accomplish the Father's will. And Jesus, because of his godly fear, was heard by the Father. This is sobering in the sense that it is unlikely that we could pray with the same intensity as Jesus. It's unlikely, nay, impossible, that we could come to the Father with the same godly fear as Jesus. We could not come to the Father with a greater understanding of the Father's will than Jesus, who understood that from the foundation of the world, this was the will of the Father. Sobering because in spite of all this, the answer to his prayers was no. But this passage is also glorious. The outcome of the Father's no was the salvation of the world, our salvation and the salvation of the world. For the Son did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Jesus was perfected in his sufferings, and as it says later in Hebrews, that he learned obedience for the joy that was set before him. By faith, we counted all joy, looking beyond the trial to the outcome. Quote, and not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Now, if we are not able to comprehend joy in the suffering, then consider our faith, which is the assurance of what is hoped for. And in the suffering, it's the answer. The answer is the love of God in His Spirit that's given to us. And that spirit doesn't disappoint. 